Hey guys, welcome back, D Rich Spirits. Tonight, Thursday, Friday Eve, and we will still drink good. Oh, look at the color on this one right here. I ain't even tell you what it was yet, but it looks delicious, doesn't it? Yes, it does. <laughs> Tonight, from my journey to Savannah, Georgia, was it last weekend, weekend before last, something like that. One of the gems I picked up and been dying to try is the Fiddler. Georgia Hartwood. This is out of the ASW Distillery in Atlanta. I am not for sure if it's sourced. I'm assuming it's sourced, uh, but I'm not for sure. Single barrel, 58% ABV. Man, I've heard good things about this juice. Uh, so what they do, like the Fiddler, they take oak staves. Um, and put them in the barrel, which adds a whole different complexity to it. Um, you see other people doing it all the time, a lot of other distilleries doing it with certain batches. But it is, you know, very common and it brings a lot of marshmallow, vanilla, a lot more intense, almost like um it's almost like a cheap double casking. So normally when you double cast, you char barrel. You put it in, you age it, and then you char another one to get another fresh, crisp, burnt barrel added to it, right? And that's like the Woodford double open, something like that. It's called double open, right? Double cast, whatever you want to call it. So it it's kind of a, a cheaper way. Uh, not as good, definitely, but you add those charred oak staves into the barrel, and you pick up some of that flavor as well. So... Let's dig into it on the nose and see what Atlanta has to offer. Mm. It's a very rich profile. Classic bourbon notes, very rich though. You got your maple, vanilla, cherry, oak, of course. The vanilla is really pushing for it now. Wow. I like it. I like the nose. I like the color of it. It's non-chill non -chill filter. Uh, well, only one thing left to do. Wow. Cherry, not cherry cough drop. Rich cherry, oak, honey, not maple. Pepper on the finish. Wow. It, it doesn't quite drink 58%, but it drinks 50, 55. I mean, right around there. This was nice. Let's go in again. Make sure the first one. This is my first drink of the day. You know, this is, I've been at work. I've been running around. And normally your first drink of the day after that point, everything is kind of like, not strong, but you, the proof, right? You feel the proof of anything you drink. But this one here is. Whoa. Just red flavors. You know, not just cherry anymore. It's like a strawberry jam. Uh, it's vanilla swirled in there. Just a lot of rich red flavors. Honey on the tail end, that oak. But this is actually a pretty damn good drink. I'm glad I picked this one up. No buyer's remorse here. I want to say I paid, I don't know, 80 bucks for it, something around there. I, don't, I was buying so many bottles, it's kind of hard to keep track of because I'm irresponsible. All right, go ahead and say it. Irresponsible. God, this is good. All right, so wrapping that up, it's a Thursday, it's Friday Eve. I will be smoking a Maduro cane, uh, the straight Lajero. Just a nub. It's the cane nub. 
but it's strong as full body. It's going to pair well with this. I was looking for something strong enough that this 58% and just look at the color of it. I knew it was going to be rich, won't overpower it. So I need a cigar to stand up to this bad boy right here. And that's how I'm going to wind down my Thursday, prepare myself mentally for Friday and get really excited for Friday night. If I don't speak to you guys again, have a good weekend. Hey, subscribe. Hit that button. Hit the like button. Until next time, it's your man.